Yo, what's going on with your YouTube? Jump in, Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. So we do have an unboxing here, and unfortunately, actually, you know, if you guys like it, you guys probably it probably was an easy cop. But and some would even say that these actually flopped. Hey, if you wanted them, you probably could have got them really, really easy. I got on this on the Nike app. Very easy to get, and you know what? I'm happy for it because if you guys don't like it, that's cool. I like it. But before we open this up, need a good need to give a big shout out to my guy, my big homie Roscoe. He's been dropping a lot of stuff as of lately, man. So appreciate you, homie. And he has another drop coming up this week. I think it's Friday or Thursday, some of that. So my good friend, here it is. Ooh, ooh, this one's actually pretty cool. All right, Chicken N W's racing. Check out the print in the back. The race, uh, Chicken N W's car racing right there. I mean, this is actually pretty fire, man. Wow, this actually looks a big. <laughs> this looks like a big T-shirt, fam. But look, nice and thick. This is actually a good quality T too. And look, inside. They're embroidered, no tags, chicken and W's. Right, check it out, check it out. This is the T how it fits. Now I usually go for a large because I like that whole oversized look. It's actually, it fits kind of big, I'm not gonna lie. So I think I would have been okay with the with the medium, but large is cool too, because it, it is pretty, pretty baggy. But look at the back design, A1 quality. Shout out to chicken and W's, man. Shout out to Roscoe, appreciate you fam. One of my best friends out there, so. Uh, make sure you guys show support. I need to get some merch going on too, man. He's actually inspiring me to do it too. So hopefully we'll get one one day. And now with that being said, man, let's open this up. This, like I said, came from Nike and unfortunately it did look like it kind of flopped. All right, all right, all right. And here it is. Looks like we do have a flip open box. It does have the Jordan Flight box with the Cement print, green jump man for whatever reason. Even got the Nike Air in the back. Now again, these were pretty easy to get. Matter of fact, the, I think the main reason why they did sit on the website or no one really cared for whatever the case was is because A, it didn't have a name on it. It wasn't a collab. It's not going for any crazy resale. And maybe some people just don't like the shoe. Maybe that's probably what it is. I'm, that's what I'm thinking of what it is. Some people just might not like them. Even though it's a technically an Air Jordan 4, but you know, we love, we don't like change. We like our old stuff that, that we've been seeing for years and years and years. We love to keep buying the same thing over and over and over, just different colorways here and there. Maybe just a little name on it and then we think it's all hyped up. But anyways, man, let's open this up real quick. And here it is. Got the 23 paper and Wa freaking la. Here it is. These are the Air Jordan 4 RM, not associated with Nigel Sylvester, not associated with the bike air, but it does have the Nike Air in the back, so that's kind of cool. But I mean, overall, these do look kind of plain, but you know what? I'm kind of digging it. These are not bad at all. I actually low key kind of like these. You know what? I do like these. These are actually pretty fire. Look, got the Jumpman on the tongue, if you guys see it behind the laces. Got the Jumpman on the bottoms. Got the Air Jordan 4 bottoms outsole. And of course, this is basically, I guess people would consider this a Jordan 4 low or something. I mean, you got the baby pull tab. You got the fleece sock liner inside. And oh, extra set of laces, bam, bam. So one's gray. And that's about it, man. And it feels almost the same padding as a Nigel's, but maybe not really. It does have the fatty rope laces, though. It, these laces remind me of like an SB laces. It's not just a flat rope laces. It's actually like that, you know, the SB laces on there. So that's cool. Um, again, got the... I want to show this tongue off, man. Here's the tongue. Got the nylon tongue right there. You got the jump, man. I mean, this colorway, I guess it's kind of plain, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I actually low-key kind of like these. So, hey, man, y'all snooze, y'all lose. It's cool with me because I got these with ease. I think these things only retail for like 160 or something. So, I was like, you know what? 
why not? Fan of the Nigels and you're fans of the, the fours he dropped, he dropped two colorways already. We supposedly might get an all black joint, but this is kind of like the reverse, which I do kind of like. I like the suede uh, toe box mid guard right here. Got a little bit of the leather on the toe box, so that might be a little bit of creasing the caging. Got the jump man right there, and of course the Nike Air on the back, which is both black. You know, you can kind of see it. it's a little, um, you know, triple black, so you really can't see it to be honest. But overall, man, I actually low key kind of like these, man. These are not bad at all. So if I don't feel like, you know, busting out my Nigels, I'm just gonna rock these. These are could be my everyday wears, and you know what? I don't mind to be honest because it didn't have the cool bike air packaging, the Nigel Sylvester's. Maybe that's why maybe weren't pe people weren't feeling these. So people want to call these that AKA flop, you know? I don't think they flop. I think they actually did sell out eventually. But look, see, you got the Nigels here, the grandma driveway. So there was a story behind these and they actually released it. So you know what Nike does? They usually drop the collabs of the new model, right? Like, you know, they try to drop with Nigel's name on it, give it some hype, and then they're gonna drop the GRs. Now with the GRs, they actually did drop three colorways in the same day. It was like an all white joint. They even had uh, basically a green one, which looks pretty close to the grandma driveway, I would say, except for the bottoms was white. Uh, obviously it doesn't have the bike air, the bike air, and it's just, I guess you will call it the bike technology, if you wanna call it that. But I mean, it's almost dang near the same thing. You know, it's pretty much, I mean, maybe the quality might be a little bit better on these because it's that nice buttery, you know, new buck right here instead of it's just like a little bit of uh, that suede, that rough suede right here. Um, nylon tongue, nylon mesh up here, which is, I think that actually might be better. I actually like the laces better. Low key, I really like the tongue better because all it says on the tongue on the Nigels, it just says bike air by Jordan. And maybe because the bottom it says Nike Air instead of Jordan. I mean, and of course also it has a bike air on the on the back of the heels. But this one says Nike, Nike Air. So <laughs> again, I still think these are actually pretty dope. I actually like these. I don't care if you guys call these a flop, you don't like these at all, fine by me. I like these. And like I said, not every shoe needs to be hyped up. Not every shoe needs to be a collab and have to be crazy resale and all that. Not every shoe had to be like that. It's okay to have some shoe brick out. It's okay to have some shoes sitting. Doesn't mean it's a bad shoe, you know, by any means. In my collection, I probably have plenty of bricks, you know, somewhere. <laughs> you know, uh, I have plenty of bricks in non-OG, in like, you know, non collabs and stuff like that. I got some OG colorways and even some regular GRs in my collection, which is, again, it's fine. If you like it, you like it, you buy it. And that's what I said, I think Nike try to do. They try to hype up the 4RM with the Nigel Sylvester name on it. They drop these first and then they're gonna drop the other colorways and see what they'll do. Obviously it didn't do too great, but hey, that's okay. If you like it, you like it. Just buy what you like. That's what you guys always say in the comments. Buy what you like. That's what we did. They're gonna probably be like my everyday wears. One of those things where I'm just gonna rock them, beat them up, and they look fire on feet. Just one of those things. I think they look great on feet. You know, some people might like it. Some people might do like them a lot. You know, I think a lot of people like these because I think with the gray joints, these are not going for that crazy of a uh, over retail. I think these things are only going for like. 200 obviously these went up crazy high because these were a lot more limited but you know what i don't need to have a shoe all the time wear my expensive shoes i can just wear my grs and just beat them up and it's good to go all right anyways man just want to make this quick video man yeah it if it flopped it flop i guess if some people call it but you know what i like them i think they're dope that's fine by me anyway guys hey just want to say hey i appreciate y'all i love y'all if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on my social media at jumper chris and ig sometimes on twitter and don't forget snapchat i'm also on tiktok anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all i'm jumper chris Peace.